Now, we're going to do a bit more work on minuet in G. I'm going to start and I'm going to play you the first page minuet in G on my right hand. I'm going to try and remember that I need to play some notes separate. Some notes need to be tied together, nice and smooth, and some need to be played staccato, nice and sharp. So this is the first page on my right hand. One, two, three. First line on the second hand, left hand by itself, sounds like this. One, two, three. If I was to play the two hands together for just the first line, which is the first four bars of the piece, they sound like this, so this is a good time to listen to how this sounds. Now I'm going to play that again, I'm going to play it slightly slower. And maybe you could have a go first to play in the left hand with me. Don't worry about your right hand. I'm going to play the right hand and the left hand. And if you just try to practice your left hand with me now, we'll try putting the two hands together later. One, two, three. play that again and if you got on okay with it that time maybe try playing the two hands with me this time one two three good work so far. Now the next line I'm going to play how the left hand goes by itself first. One, two, three. That's the next four bars in the left hand. I'm going to put that together with the right hand. So what I'm doing is I'm playing one, two, three, four, four bars, which is the second line of music in minuet and G. And after three. One, two, three. again and if you want you can have a go at playing the left hand along with me. One, two, three.
so that's some good work so far i'm gonna i'm gonna at this point i'm gonna play from the start of the piece down to that end of the eighth bar i'm going to use both hands so you can hear how it sounds um, I think for homework now you're probably just concentrating on the left hand as far as bar six. So don't feel like you have to rush on ahead, but this video is there for when we have moved on. Um, so you can be listening to how it sounds and preparing yourself for moving forward. So the first eight bars of minuet in G. One, two, three. but not least I'm going to play the whole of the first page of minuet in G I'm going to play it with my two hands and this is again for you to get used to how it sounds you can hear how the two hands play off each other and if you'd like to you can practice along by playing the left hand along with me and leaving out the right just to get your left hand moving getting ready for when we add them in after midtone repeated it because at the very end of the piece there is two lines and two dots which is a repeat sign and that means repeat um, from the start to that point over twice so I hope you have fun practicing with that and uh, I look forward to seeing everybody again after the midterm